guys, this is Miss Leslie from the Paul Sawyer Public Library. Thanks so much for joining me for Family Ornament Night. One of my favorite things to do around the holidays is make homemade ornaments. Whether I'm making them to give as a gift or to hang on my tree like the one you see beside me here. That is one of my absolute favorite things to do. So tonight, I'm gonna to show you how to make the three ornaments that are in your kit. So if you registered for the Family Ornament Program and picked up a kit, you will find three bags inside your kit and I will show you how to make all three ornaments. Now, I'm gonna show you the bones of how to put them all together, but if you wanna add some more embellishments or do them a little bit different way, feel free to do that. I'm just gonna kinda of get you started and show you how to make what I've created here tonight. So let's get started. So the first ornament we're gonna make is we're gonna make our plastic disc snowman. So the very first bag you're gonna pull out of your kit has some cotton in it, about 15 or 16 balls of cotton. It has a plastic disc ornament. Now I use plastic because if you're like me, if it's a breakable ornament, I'm gonna figure out a way to break it. So this is a plastic disc ornament. You've also got some little sheets of orange construction paper, some little sheets of, well actually not sheets of black construction paper. I've got some little black dots that I hole punched out of black construction paper. That's gonna be your mouth. You've got some googly eyes, which if you know me, you know I love a googly eye. Some of your googly eyes will have, sell, will have adhesive already on them. Some of them you might have to glue, and that is okay too. And a couple of other things you're gonna need is a pair of scissors and also some glue. Now you can use glue dots, you can use craft glue, you can use regular Elmer School glue, whatever you have available to you. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our disc and we're gonna pop the top off of it just as carefully as we can, get those little prongs out of there. And we're gonna start packing our little snowman with cotton balls. And it took me about 15 or 16 cotton balls in there to get it to a really good consistency. But if you don't wanna put as many, that's okay. Or if you have a little white paint and you would prefer to paint the inside, of your plastic dish, you can do that. What you can do, you can squirt some white paint inside here, pop the top back on, put a paper towel over that top, and kind of move it around and paint the inside. And that will work just as well. It's whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna start pushing those in there. And the good thing about these cotton balls is they're pretty pliable, so they're really easy to go in there. And I'm gonna make my little Frosty the Snowman with a little carrot nose and some googly eyes. And one of the other cool things you could do if you wanted to add some more embellishments, you could put some little earmuffs on him. You could put a scarf on him. You could really do it any way you wanted. Instead of the little dots for his mouth that are in your bag, you could take a marker, either a Sharpie or some sort of permanent marker and you could draw on there. On the very back of the ornament, you can put the date or a person's name if you wanna do that as well so you can know what year you created your ornament. All right, I'm gonna stick one more in there. And so as you can see, it's pretty full. If you need to push them down a little bit, take the end of a pencil or the end of a pen, obviously with uh, parent or guardian supervision because you don't wanna push too hard and push those down in there. But these are pretty pliable, so they're pretty easy to get in there. So then I'm gonna put my top back on as carefully as I can. So there is the body of my snowman. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my googly eyes on there. Now, my googly eyes have self or have adhesive already on them, so that makes it easy. But if yours don't, you can use a little craft glue, you can use some glue dots, whatever you have available to you. So I've got my googly eyes on. Now I'm gonna take my little orange sheet of paper and I'm gonna cut out a little carrot nose. And basically all I'm doing is just kind of cutting a, cutting a little triangle shaped nose out of paper. But you can create any nose you want. It doesn't have to be a triangle. It can be, it can be round, it can be square, whatever you want to do. So I've got me a little triangle here. I'm gonna grab a glue dot, which I'm using glue dots tonight because they are a little faster. So I'm gonna put it on the back of this construction paper here. And I'm gonna put his little nose on. 
But one of the other things you could do if you didn't want to use the construction paper, I have a lot of little leftover buttons. You could do a button nose. You could do an orange. You could do black, whatever color you wanted. So I've got his googly eyes and I've got his button nose. And now I'm going to create a mouth. So the next thing I'm going to do, instead of using my black dots, because I don't have them right in front of me right at the moment, I'm going to draw a little face on. Now I'm going to draw little circles, but you could put a smiley face on there. You could do whatever you wanted. You could add some color. However you wanted to create your snowman is completely up to you. You don't have to use all the materials. You can use things that you have at home. That's the great thing about these is you're making them your own. Because whether you give them as a gift or keep them for yourself, it's a great way to kind of commemorate the time. All right. So I just drew a little smiley face on mine. But you can use those black dots that I gave you or you can create a face all your own. Now, if you wanted to make this an ornament, which is the whole idea of our family ornament night, but you don't have to, I've got some red ribbon that I use on packages. So I'm just gonna cut a piece off of there with my scissors. And the great thing about these little ball ornaments is they already have the little space or the little slot in there for you to stick the ribbon through. And you could get fancier ribbon if you wanted to. I just happen to have this out from wrapping packages because I do enjoy wrapping packages. And then I'm just gonna tie some string around it and voila, I have my little snowman ornament. Now, you can turn it over and on the back of the ornament, you can write the date or somebody's name or you don't have to do that, but you can create your little snowman ornament any way you want. So that is the first ornament we're gonna make tonight. Now the next one we're gonna do is our little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now I'm making Rudolph, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So grab the bag that has your little ball ornament. So it's like your, pl like your plastic disc ornament, but instead of a disc, it is a ball. It has some brown shredded paper in it. That's gonna be the body of our reindeer. We have some more googly eyes in there. And we also have a little red pom-pom for his nose. And we have some brown pipe cleaners as well that we're gonna use for his antlers. All right, so let me get my things ready. So the first thing we're gonna do is like our disc ornament, we're gonna pop the top off of our ball here, just exactly like you did the disc. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our shredded paper and we're gonna start pushing it inside the ornament. So just start pushing it inside there. And you should have enough paper to fill it up, but if you don't wanna fill it all the way, you don't have to. And much like the snowman ornament, if you don't wanna use your shredded paper, you can pop the top off, you can put some white paint in there if you have white paint, pop the top back on, put a paper towel over it, and start rolling it around and paint the inside white. Whatever you wanna do. So you're gonna kinda of stuff that in there. So that's the beginning of it. And then once it is full, you will see it will look like that. So I've got a pretty good body on my reindeer. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find your googly eyes. Now you may have some googly eyes that have adhesive already on them or you may have to glue them. So find your googly eyes and put those on your reindeer. So I'm gonna do that right now and I've got my googly eyes on there. So there's my googly eyes and I've already tied a string and I'll, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So once you got your googly eyes on there, the next thing you're gonna do is you are going to create the antlers for your reindeer. So you are going to grab your pipe cleaner. You've got one long pipe cleaner and you've got two little short pipe cleaners. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the middle of your pipe cleaner and you're gonna wrap it around your the top part of your ornament so the little silver lid on top of your ornament and you're going to wrap one side around and then wrap the other side around so you've got two sides move that over so it doesn't get just to make sure you get it on there tight now you may have to put a little glue on there and that is okay it's completely up to you so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around so that 
On either side of your reindeer, you have two long pieces of pipe cleaner. And no two re reindeer are alike in their antlers, so your antlers don't have to be even. They don't have to be exactly perfect. And once you get it wrapped around, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna form the little top knots to your reindeer. And to do that, and I'm gonna bend down here and lay this on my table, and I'm gonna take this part off so I can show you a little better how to do that. I'm gonna take his antlers off just for a moment. And what I'm gonna show you how to do is to make the top part of it. So, on either side of your reindeer, on one antler, what I want you to do is I want you to take that small brown piece of pipe cleaner, I want you to find the middle towards the top of your antler, I want you to find the middle of that small piece, place it on around the top part, and I want you to do just like you did on the longer part of the pipe cleaner. I want you to wrap it around so you're forming a side to each reindeer. So it'll look something like that. So you're kind of forming like branches on your reindeer. And then you'll do that to the opposite side. You'll just wrap it around. Now they don't, like I said, they do not have to be perfect. Do not worry about that. Each reindeer's antlers look a little different. So do not worry about that at all. And then just make sure that you've got, it's adhered on either side and I'll show you. So that is what mine looks like once he's all done. And if you wanted to not use the brown pipe cleaners, if you wanted to use black pipe cleaners, if you wanted to use white pipe cleaners and kind of make a snow, snowy reindeer, you could definitely do that too. It's completely up to you. Now the final finishing touch on our Rudolph is our red pom-pom. Now if you didn't want to do a red pom-pom, you could do a black pom-pom, whatever you have. But in your kit, you have a red pom-pom. So I'm gonna take a glue dot and I am going to put that on my pom-pom and then I'm going to put it in the middle of his face. So there is my Rudolph. So like I have said many times, you can make it your own. It doesn't have to be Rudolph. It, does, it can be any way you want, any kind of reindeer you want. And then, just like I did on the snowman, you can take a piece of ribbon and tie it on the back or tie it through the little clasp. And then on the very back, you can write the name and the date. But that is your Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Pretty simple. Now, the last thing we are going to make is our popsicle stick scrapbook paper Christmas tree. So in your kit, you will find one more bag and in that bag, you will find some green popsicle sticks, which I've already colored in for you. And yours are a little bit wider than mine, but skinny ones would work too. So if you didn't pick up a kit and you're watching this video, whatever popsicle sticks you have available to you, you can definitely use those. But I've got a really skinny green one here. And you will find some assorted scrapbook paper in there that I have cut into little pieces. Now, if you don't have scrapbook paper and you're watching this video at home, you can use wrapping paper, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do here, just by cutting it up into little pieces. And if you're like me and you have a lot of leftover scraps of wrapping paper, that's a good way to use it up. And then um, you can add some other embellishments to your tree. You can add a bottom to your tree. You can add stars to your tree. But in your kit, you will find your popsicle stick and you will find your sheets of scrapbook paper. So the whole idea is to make the branches of your tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my pieces of scrapbook paper and I'm gonna start adding this to my tree. So I'm gonna cut mine down a little bit. So if you need to cut yours down a little bit, feel free to do that. And basically all you're gonna do is take your glue, your glue dots, or whatever you have, and you're gonna put that on the back of your scrapbook paper, and you're just gonna start sticking it to your popsicle stick to find, form the base of your tree. And you can have as many branches on this if you want. If you wanna cut that paper in half and make more branches, you do whatever you want. If you've got some more paper at home that you wanna to add to it, feel free to do that. It is completely up to you. 
right, I'm just gonna keep sticking away on there and I'm gonna cut a little bit of mine off here. Because sometimes once you get started, you realize, oh, maybe I need to cut that off a little bit. And that is okay. There's absolutely no right or wrong way to do this. It's just an easy way to use, a, to create a really cool ornament to give as a gift or to keep for yourself and to use up some paper that you were like, I don't know what to do with this. Well, now you have a way to fix that. So let me see. Cut that down a little more, grab a glue dot, and just start adding to my tree. So this is completely easy. And what you can do is if you have some little self-stick stars, add some stars to your tree. If you've got some extra construction paper or cardstock, you can put a base to your tree. You can put a tree skirt on your tree, whatever you want to do. So that's the basic gist of that. Just start uh, taking your sheets of scrapbook paper and putting glue on there and putting it on your tree. And when it is finished, it will look like this. So that is my scrapbook popsicle stick Christmas tree. And as you can see, I've got a lot of different scrapbook uh, colors and shapes and sizes in there. I don't have a base on my tree, but you could add one. I've added a star to the top of my tree, but you could go in there and add little ornaments, whatever you want to do. And then I just put a little piece of ribbon on the back. And then on the very back of the popsicle, popsicle stick, you can write your name and the date. But those are your ornaments from your kit for tonight. You've got your paper plate or your, not paper plate, but your popsicle stick scrapbook Christmas tree. You have got your little snowman ornament and my absolute favorite, because I always loved Rudolph growing up. You have got your Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer ornament. So I want to thank you guys so much for creating your family ornaments with me tonight. And when you do create your ornaments, please share those with us because we love seeing all your creativity. We love seeing all those embellishments that you might add to your ornaments. So I hope you enjoyed family ornament night and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great night, guys. Thank you.